G'day folks and welcome back to the channel for not episode 7. Uh, this is just going to be an extra little farming episode. I figured I'm going to do some farming for totems. I want the haunt relic. Um, probably going to go for uh, maybe until level 41. And I figured if I'm going to do it I may as well record it. So let's, uh, let's go kill some totems. Uh, first thing though, I want to go back to the warden's laboratory. There is a totem here but more importantly there are aether crystals here. And we're almost at the level where these are going to become uh, much harder to get. Or at least there's not going to be so many of them so easily available. So I'm just going to do a quick run through here. Now obviously you don't have to do this farming until you have something you need them for. Um, but I'm just going to do it now anyway. And these guys are decently below my level, so they're taking a ton of extra damage. Deathbringer Raiment, Vitality damage, nah. I probably should be picking those up actually, just to sell them. Um, we are also getting reputation with the Order of Death's Vigil, which is fine. It's not really why I'm here though. The other way we could be doing this, and I'll probably hit a couple of these, is uh, Treasure Troves. So treasure troves are decent source of blueprints. You'll almost always get one. And I believe they prioritize uh, relics as well. So now that we have access to the actual game files, someone can tell me if that's no longer true, or at least was never true, and now we know it's not true. Um, I'm not going to go find the totem in the warden's lab. We're going to go do some different ones instead. Starting with the Arcovian foothills. Now, in a perfect world, you know I love the gloom world, but uh, unfortunately I don't have access to it yet. So instead, I'm going to come through here. I'm going to grab these aether crystals. There's, I think, between one and four spawn here. Looks like I got the low roll. Also looks like the totem's not here. So totem's going to be over here or down here. I can't see it yet, so it's probably down, down the bottom. Yeah, it would be just here. That's fine. Gives me an excuse to blast a whole bunch of skeletons. And also Tenebris, the blood drinker here. And blast him as well. There we go, Mantle of the Weeping Eye. Cold and Lightning, no good for me. Uh, priests definitely need to die, as do idiots standing in doorways. Right. Can I have my totem now? <laughs> there it is, I see it on the map. Okay, I'm not really here farming for XP, so I probably shouldn't be killing those, but, um... Yeah, I don't care. Alright, big rocky dudes, you definitely don't want to get hit by those rocks. And let's pop this. Alright. So Hellwraith the Burning gets to die first. Definitely burning through a ton of energy, but um, that's actually fine. As long as we're also doing damage, I'm fine with burning through energy. Uh, that belt just gave us a bunch of extra spirit, which will be very useful. And eventually we'll get to the point where this is fine. Okay, inscribed braces. Pretty good recipe, or pretty good uh, blue item. These are not the best blue item. Uh, I would give that to probably, is it prismatic gauntlets or whatever? The ones that come with the the everything resistance proc. I would probably say they are the better gloves. Uh, but we did just get two blueprints, which is what I'm after. And I don't think any of these are worth using. Maybe these. Maybe. We're still kind of at the point where... Um, where any kind of damage is still good damage. Casting speed on these would also be extra damage. Bleed res, I don't really want to drop that, so that's fine. Uh, Dominators does come with physical resistance for the player, so these could be good. They're not, but they could be. And let's go... Where are we going? Prospector's Trail. We'll go backwards. There's a totem and a treasure trove in here. 
And like I said, treasure troves can and usually will drop you a blueprint. So we'll go do that. Maybe we'll kill Eocrix as well. We'll just see who's home. See how far I have to run to find the treasure trove. Apparently the bugs don't like this damage. These trolls probably don't care so much. I definitely need to stop killing extra things though. Okay, uh, first treasure trove location is not here. Well, the location's here, but the treasure trove is not. So, also looks like we're taking the long way around. And I don't see the totem here, so I think I lucked out there. But uh, I'm going to grab the treasure trove anyway. I think there's a lore node in a clickable over there too. Um, here's my treasure trove, so we can leave after this. Open the chest. What do we win? Shockwave Sash and the Apothecary Gun. Which is, you know, it's okay. It's not great. Um, we'll head to Twin Falls. There's an easily accessible totem there. Um, definitely not going to do the Celestial Totem. I know it's there, and I know it's going to kill me, so I'm not going to do it. So our totem's going to be down here, just on that little ledge there. You can tell by this point because it hasn't shown up. That's the only spawn point it could have. Here we go. Now this is going to be all undead. And if a lot of these guys get close, I'll probably use the mirror. Let's turn the loot off. Um, I wonder if using the mirror now would cut off my uh, energy regeneration from standing in stupid... Alright, that should be us. So we've got Rampage, Alvarex Rebuke, and Death Ward. So, what do we got? Rampage is not the one we wanted. Alvarex Rebuke. I always think this is an amulet. And every time it's not. Death Ward is actually a pretty good one to have. Um, the, uh, the death save there is sometimes quite useful. Okay, Rampage, Mage, Storm, Tempest, none of that's any good. Okay, that totem is done. This totem is done. There's usually one in Cronley's hideout. May also get a, uh, a new helmet in here. So we can go check that. I'm not going to bother killing the fire guys. Uh, although, if Moneybags is here, it might be worth it. Nah. So we're checking for a totem here. And then the other totem locations are up near himself, so we'll go for a bit of a run here. We're into the Aether section now, and I see a lot of green hats here, which makes me very happy. Unfortunately, me being happy doesn't get me the drops I want. But that's fine. Okay, Moneybags was not at his second location, so he is definitely in the, uh, the antechamber, I guess you'd call it, for Cronley himself. And I'm regretting not killing Doreni because I've been here through here a few times now. And he's slowing me down. Alright, there he goes. Probably didn't need to kill them. That's fine. Dynamite? Nope, no dynamite for me. That's right, every time you come through here, you're guaranteed one dynamite from the floor spawn over here, and often you'll get two or three more from just killing the, uh, the scrap piles in here. There's level 40, there's a new hat, uh, offensive ability, and cunning. Um, I could actually be decent. What's my current hat do? Um, where did that hat go, actually? Can you, can you not? Can you not as well? Um, here it is. Right. So I would lose 11% elemental. I don't think I care about that. And I would gain a bunch of offensive ability and... Uh, actually not that much cunning, but some. So, 11 cunning. Bunch of OA. We're already critting a decent amount. 
Although OA is falling behind DA, so I may actually use that. And this one also could be good to use. Plus three destruction, I think that's this one, yeah. Okay, so Railock Mark is something I will want to be putting on once I have the, uh, the sigil back. Hey, there's another dynamite. So I got one from this scrap here, there's always one on the floor there. And I also got a, a helmet out of this run, so not all bad news. Here's our totem. Okay, so we're back to ethereals again. Now I am kind of considering not doing the uh, the chthonic totems because my um, chaos res is actually quite low. I may end up skipping it. Plus three to nullification. Okay. I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to use those. Let's have a look. What else have we got? Uh, Ancient Aether in the Rotting Croplands. Probably a little dangerous. Uh, Astakan Valley. We'll go do that one. So, take a step. You can see it from here. If it was here, you might have to take a few more steps, but you can always see this one from the rift. And it's in one of three places every time. So, this one here, another one there, third one's there. You get it every time. See if we can get these guys to fight each other instead of me. Nope. Old mate here wants to die, so that's fine. Alright, these shamblers have got to go as soon as possible. And they've got to not throw rocks at me if possible. Alright, he's dead, which is good. Shockwave's uh, sash and a couple of blues. So Rift Scourge sli slices, not really what I'm after. And I think we're done for this session. So back to the main menu. I'll do another run. And uh, I think that's probably going to be it. But uh, hopefully I can get that relic to drop. Definitely need to be eating those before uh, doing this run. Now, I'll, I'll talk to, about this in the next episode, actually. I don't want to make any big changes to the character in what I'm calling an extra. All right, there we go. Uh, I probably will be wearing this at the start of the next episode, though. That extra armor is nice. More resistances. I would lose the physical resistance, which is not great, but... Um, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good set, that one. Okay, res. I uh, don't think I want any of these. Nope, that's fine. I'll just check the rings on this guy as well. Nothing. Good. Good, good. Um... I didn't run up there, so I can't see that one. But um, we'll go do these two. Probably two. Okay, usually you can see this one by now, if it was going to show up. So I'm thinking it's going to be over here. And it should be showing up on the map any second now. No. Alright, so now I know it's spawned just outside of Devil's Crossing. It's a pretty long run to get there, but I don't have a huge amount of options, so I guess we'll go do it. This is one of the ones I usually skip once I have the entire map opened up. Um, but I don't have the entire map opened up, so we'll just do this one. Right. We can skip all these idiots. They'll form a nice long line as they chase us, and we can just point the beam down there and wave it around a bit. Everyone dies. And where is my totem? Has it really just not shown up over here? It's got to be up here. How did that not show up earlier? Is it not there? Has it just not spawned? I didn't think that was possible for this one. Yeah, I don't think it's here. I think I've been gypped. 
Oh well, I'll go get another one. There's uh, there's definitely one over here on the side. Just give me a second to have a big huff of that copium. Where's my totem? I've been robbed. <laughs> I've never seen that not spawn. There we go. I'll take that one, that's fine. Might actually do... Maybe another run after this, actually. We'll see how the XP is. I don't want to get too many levels, either. Alright, so we got undead from this one. Which is fine. River's reputation is decent. Harrow's Dread. Uh, annoying cold and vitalities. Alright, Adept Scepters and some other stuff. Can you not? Thank you. Let's go ahead and eat that. And we're not going to use these, but uh, Acid and Vitality is an interesting combination. Uh, right, Twin Falls. I guess we could go for a run through Cronley's Hideout. I don't think I'm going to, though. I think the helmet I have is, is good enough. This one. Um, do I have an ectoplasm? I don't. None of these will drop it because they're not ghosts. Alright, here we go. Let's just turn the loot off so I can see what's going on. Run out of energy again. Just something different. <laughs> Alright, what do we get? Glyph of the Scorpion Tail. Mask of Delirium. Golem Fist Gavel. Um, nothing else I want. That's fine. Go ahead and eat the blueprint. Um, Cronley, I'll poke my head in. If the totem is right by the door, I guess I'll do it. That's not... Uh, right, right, right. Prospector's Trail. Could go to Pine Barrens. There's a couple of totems in there. Uh, one of which is an ancient savage. So I could do that one. Don't know that it's worth the run, though. It's quite a long run. Could hit Ungoliax again. I've only killed her 17 times. Alright, let's see if we can get to the first area. Nope, that's blocked. That's blocked. If this is blocked, I'm going to be upset. Okay, it's it's not good. Is that my treasure trove? It is not. That's fine, we can kill Glavok while we're here. Why not? And now we run around this way. Homestead wrap, very, very nice. And here's my treasure trove. Unfortunately, no totem. So the totem would be here if it was going to be in here. It's just not so unlucky. Rift Torn Greaves could be good. Uh, they're not, but they could be. Let's uh, skip all the chaos stuff and go to the Astakhan Valley, I guess. I think I'll do one more run. I might go and hit the Warden's Quarter as again as well for the... Uh, the Aether Crystals. You can see this one here from the uh, Rift as well. Just takes a second to kind of show up. You can take a few steps and it should show up, but uh, this one's nice and easy as well. Chill main Alpha is fine. I don't really want to kill... Is it Ragolthar or whatever his name is? The big dude with the skull above his head. I don't really want to have the fight with the energy that it would cost to kill him. Alright. Oh boy. Oh boy, you know I love me some golems. There's that first rock hit me. Let's dodge that one. And down he goes. Alright. Blueprints. Give me blueprints. <sighs> I mean, it's not bad. But it's not haunt either. Okay, we'll go see the Warden. Hopefully I get the totem here this time instead of over here. Or over here. But hey, Aether Crystals. Aether Crystals always make me happy.
definitely noticing a little bit of uh, frame loss just there, which tells me that the game just tried to spawn a nemesis. Because I get that every time I get a nemesis spawn. Or it may have been something else it was checking for, but definitely just tried to check for something. And I really only noticed that little stutter. It's, it's like 0 0.1, 0 0.2 of a second where the game just freezes. I only ever notice that when it's a nemesis that's being spawned or checked for. Sadly, we don't have nemesis with uh, the ethereals yet. Otherwise, I'd have to dodge Valdoran. All right, you know what? I am going to go and get that totem this time. Um, actually, it's not going to be there, is it? It would have shown up by now. So it's going to be up here. And of course it's blocked. That's all right. I'm feeling stubborn today, so I'm going to run around. I'll take the scenic route. That skill's not ready. Because I want my totem. I think I will do one more run here. And then uh, the next time I run out of totems, I'll, I'll call it the end of the episode. Well, I probably shouldn't be calling this an episode. Well, at the end of the uh, the farming session. All right, let's just clear the area out. Forsaken's not too bad, but you know, might get something nasty. All right, get these handful of bugs here as well. That should be enough. Okay. Just turn this on. I don't think there's going to be anything particularly scary here. Uh, this is 10 levels below me, so... Storm Scorched. I was... I was thinking that was going to be the, um... The Perdition Shoulders. I was about to be a little bit happy. But no. Alright. Uh, I think that's it for this one, so let's go into our last session here. So this will be the last time I do these. Um, so I have now checked here. This should be showing up if it's there. So I'm going to go ahead and say it's not. Which means it's going to be either up here. Usually would have shown up by now. So over here it is. Or I guess it's possible it just doesn't spawn. So that's I think that's the first time I've ever noticed it not spawning. This has definitely done it again. Okay, never mind then. It may have been at the first location, but I'm not doing that run again. Just go ahead and grab my Aether Crystals. So I farmed up 33 of these, or something similar to that number, in this little uh, farming episode. Pretty happy about that. Considering one Aether Soul costs 24 of them, though, um, yeah, it's, it sounds like way more than it actually is. Okay, undead again. We've got some ghosts this time, so I could get some ectoplasm. Doesn't look like it, though, sadly. And corrupted, down he goes. What did we win? Banshee's Misery, Astral Robes. Twilight's Veil. No blueprint this time. Just looking at the skill bonuses on the blues, I'm probably not going to use... Probably not going to use any of them. Um, Elemental Blast when hit is nice, but the loss in armor is not. So I'm not going to use those. I don't do cold damage and I also need my offhand, so that's no good to me either. No ectoplasm. It's unfortunate. Uh, I don't think there's a totem in this cave, so I'm not going to go in there. There's also no um, treasure trove in there either. Totem? Nope, no totem. That's fine. Um, old Arcovia, no. Twin Falls. Alright, so I can't see my totem. Uh, actually, I haven't uncovered the 
all of the potential areas, have I? Now I have, it's over here. I was going to say I can't see it from the door, so I know it's at the back here. But uh, there's also potentially one over there. Which was, I think, in the uh, fog of war. That's alright. Found this one now. Ghosts. Alright, I like ghosts. Drop me an ectoplasm, please. I could just go and get the one off my helmet, which is what I should do. Um, that definitely is too much damage to stand in. Oh, this ghost. Okay. What do we get? Glyph of the Pouncing Manticore. Cold stuff. Bleeding stuff. Um, and some other stuff to sell. Alright, blueprints. Did we get any blueprints? We did. Any ectoplasm? Nope. Let's just duck back to Devil's Crossing. I would just want to swap that over. The, uh, the extra cutting there will, will help with some more crits, but not a big difference, I don't think. In the grand scheme of things, 1% extra aether, 11% less elemental. Not a big deal. There we go. Let's go ahead and vendor this while we're here. I'm going to keep these boots. I'm still kind of humming and ahhing over whether they actually proc, though. I don't think they do, but it's it's a definite maybe. Also, even if they don't proc from the actual beam, um, they will proc from Sigil and, and other procs. I'm not convinced they work, but I'm going to try them again anyway. Uh, right, where were we up to? Twin Falls is done now. I'm going to go in the front this time, so we'll go to Dead Man's Gulch. And, uh, and we'll just run in the front door instead of going to Prospector's Trail and using the back door. I, can't do that yet. I bet you could if you tried, though. Okay, down to the cave. This way, I think, is actually... Uh, maybe not better, but it's a longer run at the start, but then once you get in, you're much closer to a lot of the spawn That's points. Not ready. Whereas if you come in the back way, it's I think it's actually a shorter run, but you're further away from everything. Everything that's important. Alright, no totem again, unfortunately. Unless it spawns somewhere else and I'm not aware of it. But, uh, there's the treasure trove. Hey, death chill, that's not the one I want either. <laughs> it is a blueprint, though. Okay, I'm gonna skip the chaos stuff again, and uh, I guess we'll go to Astakhan Valley. There's a few other things I want to check for this time. Uh, I probably should have done last time. Here's our totem. Um, there's the the hidden island back in Burrich, which I think will have a treasure trove on it. So I snap. Uh, let's kill him. As long as we're standing here, why not? Uh, nothing I want. Ah, uh, here he is. Ragrathar Rageblood. Just who I did not want to see. Having said that, he could drop a blueprint, so... Maybe it's not that bad. Okay, that... Is there any more Goblin Shaman? Doesn't look like it. And now we stand here and blast away three quarters of our mana bar killing this idiot. There he goes. Horn of Serenity. So we got some iron bits out of it. Oh, we got bugs this time. Bugs and the Vevels. Blood claws down. Alright, let's turn this off for a second. Out of energy. Nope. Ah, uh, Flame Silk Sash. Alchemist Belt. Uh, does have a heal on it, but otherwise no. Uh, one, two, three, and four. 
Devastating. Okay, I thought I saw Dominators. It's fine. Just checking for a uh, Mark of the Traveler for the boots. No dice. All right. Let's go ahead and try the uh, the secret little island that I can never remember the name of. Give that a shot. Uh, potentially two treasure troves spawn on that little island. So if we get the easy run, which of course I'm not going to since I'm recording. But um, we can just come over here and potentially get two treasure troves, which would be great. And we have actually got the easy run as well. What is going on? Okay, these guys are all level 30. I'm hoping... Um, I didn't actually think about this until just now. I'm hoping that the, uh, the treasure troves still spawn when you're too high a level for the area. I'm level 40, so this should be fine. Let's not kill anything else just for the moment. Um, the other thing is that potentially they're not there because I'm too high level, but also potentially they're not going to be there because they just didn't spawn here. So one of them is usually here, the other one I think is usually here, so I'm pretty sure they haven't spawned. Having said that, this area definitely is not too low a level, so I think I, they just didn't spawn. Oh, Exalted Stash. I forgot about that. It's a nice blue gun for me to sell. Alright, that's a little bit too much stuff following me. Um, as long as we're here, there's a Devotion Shrine on here, isn't there? Or is that an ultimate only thing? That might be a... Uh... Yeah, that's an ultimate or uh, elite only thing. That's fine. Uh, that does mean, however... That there is a pair of treasure troves in the underground areas out here. So let's just go run through this area. That was not what I wanted to do. I wanted to blow the door up. There we go. Thank you. So we can head out into into this area and there will be a couple of potential locations i don't normally do this one so don't quote me on this one but i'm pretty sure this has one potential location in it and i know the other underground area has one in it as well just have a quick run around it down here Realistically, what I should be doing is resetting the session and just running back to the uh, the underground section. The, um, the troll caves, because I know it's in there. Alright, so it's definitely not there. Could go get that totem down there, but this area is it's too low. Uh, let's head up the top here. Is it this one? No, it's this one I want, isn't it? I don't remember. I'm just going to leave that one. I know there's other tunnels in this area, and uh, if the if both of the treasure troves are not on the little secret area, the secret island, then they're going to be in one of these tunnels. I think I already went into this one. Oh, no, I didn't go into this one. Okay, all right, the hunt is on. We're back. I'm still not sure I'm going to find this. Um, here we go. This is the area. I've seen it before. It's just up here, isn't it? Nope. Nope, I'm crazy. Okay. I 
could also just look at the map for this as well, but where's the fun in that? Alright, I'm going to say it's not here. Um, I think we've done all the totems here, so... One more, one more, one more. One more. It's only been half an hour, it's fine. Just one more. <laughs> I'm not addicted, I can quit any time. <laughs> I did say I would go until level 41, we're pretty close. So I'll just do a couple more totems. Um, and I definitely want to, do, to hit the, uh, the treasure trove, so I'll try this little island one more time. Um, that's the wrong... Definitely the wrong ref gate. I will try this island one more time, and uh, then I'll go get the one near the prospector's trail. And then I think we'll call it there. Like I said, I don't want to get too far in front of the main series. Um, totem, nah, too low level here. Level 17, no good for me. Alright, we'll just go check these treasure troves. We'll go get the one I know exactly where it lives. And, uh, and that'll be it. No, oh, there's no point killing these either, they're too low. Uh, having said that, they will give XP, I guess. Yeah, I, I really want that Haunt Relic, uh, just for the plus one to all Arcana skills. I guess we could go with plus one to Occultist skills, but that's basically nothing at the moment, so... Yeah, I think we'll keep going. Keep looking for Haunt every now and again. Go ahead and give me that crystal. Come on, there's got to be at least one here this time. Surely. Surely they wouldn't do this to me twice in a row. So there's two of them that can spawn here. And they've got three spawn points each, so... What's that? One in three. Uh, oh, I can't do the maths. Can't brain today, I have the stupid, but it looks like I'm not getting this one, so that's fine. Um, Aether Crystal? Yes, please. I will check down here, but I don't think it spawns here. Nah. That's quite unfortunate. I got zero on the island both times. Alright, well, it is what it is. Okay, we'll go get the one I know about. We'll go to the back door again this time. And then uh, I'll go do maybe one or two totems. Just to hit 41 and then that'll be it. Alright, let's see how inconvenient the doorway blockages are going to be this time. Uh, yep, that's pretty inconvenient. Should be able to see from here if it's there though. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so I gotta get over that little section there. So let's dodge through these doors. This little gap over here. Hopefully this isn't blocked. Alright, beautiful, beautiful. Now we're cooking with gas. And here is my treasure trove. Gimme haunt! Give it to me. I hate this game. I hate it so much. <laughs> Alright, so no treasure trove. Um, let's go do the Astakhan Valley totem. That's probably going to get us to 41, and... Uh, that's it. There's, there's the third spawn. I knew it would happen eventually. Hopefully I won't have to deal with uh, Old Mate again. Although having said that, at this rate, I'm going to run out of energy before I even get to the totem. Right. Goblin healers have got to go. Oh, here he is. Righto, here we go. I guess we'll neck a potion now, because we're going to need it.
All right, and we're going to run out of energy here, I think. Uh, if not, we're going to be very low when he dies. There he goes. Mighty of the Honor Guard. So Honor Guard's a shield affix. Uh, Mighty is actually pretty good. So this is going to be more health and casting speed. It's probably actually not more armor just because of the 5% from the other ones. So I'm not going to use that. Uh, right, let's pop this. Bugs and golems. Okay, golems have got to go. Bugs have also got to go. Well, we got another relic. It's the wrong one, but it is better than what I'm wearing. Boots and a gun. Uh, none of that's any good. Druids? Nope. Alright, we haven't quite hit 41, so I can justifiably go and do one more totem. Let's do Twin Falls. Come on. Haunt is a relic that gives you like a spirit that you cast on enemies. It haunts them. It's undead. Surely an undead totem will give us a better chance of getting it. Surely. I completely just made that up. It's absolutely not going to happen, but... You know, I can dream. I can dream. Okay, there's 41, so we're done after this totem. We did get a blueprint. We did get two blueprints, unfortunately. They are movement runes, which is not what I wanted. Alright, we're going to leave it there. I'm going to head back to town and sell these, but um, that'll be it for this extra video. And uh, so I will see you in the next video and goodbye for now.